Hi, this is Sukhdev Kapoor from Arista Network. I'm going to uh, show you layer 2 gateway demo on Arista hardware here. Uh, looking at, uh, let me first describe you my demo setup. Uh, you will see on the top left hand side, I have a, a Neutron Network server with, uh, with L2 gateway service plugin running and uh, the L2 gateway agent over, over OVSDB protocol talks to OVSDB server and the DB, OVSDB server can run anywhere on Arista uh, hardware or as a VM. In present demo setup, I'm running it on Arista Tor switch. And additionally, I have two Arista Tor switches uh, in one Tor on the right hand side. That's where I'm going to uh, deploy my gateway. That is connected to a legacy network where a bare metal host is connected on VLAN 5. And on the left hand side, I have another Arista Tor switch behind which is a, a compute node. And on the compute node, I have already pre launched a couple of VMs and they're launched in a VXLAN based network. And what I'm going to show you is I'm going to create an L2 gateway on Arista Tor, and that would create a VXLAN tunnel between software VTAP on the compute node and on Arista Tor, uh, the hardware VTAP. So that will essentially bridge these two networks, one legacy network on VLAN 5, another uh, VXLAN network. So once I'm able to create that tunnel, I can then show the connectivity between the two. So now I'm going to switch over to my screen here. Uh, I have a, a, a bare metal server, which is on the top right hand side screen, okay. So which is uh, on uh, the IP 11.11.50. Uh, and also I have uh, a network, test network on the same VLAN, uh, same subnet I mean, and also I have launched a couple of uh, VMs which are running uh, with 11, 11, 11, 3 and 4 address. So here I'm going to uh, get into the console. So here I'm pinging the bare metal server and, and you will notice that I can't reach the bare metal server. And similarly here I'll ping the uh, VM and I cannot uh, reach. So these are two because they're on two different networks right now. Okay, so now here if you notice on, uh, I have a, a interface VXLAN 1, that's my hardware VTAP. And on, on hardware VTAP, I have configured uh, uh, IP address uh, of 10, 10, 200, 200. And, uh, and this is my basic networking setup uh, at this point. Now I'm going to go and create a gateway. On the left hand side, uh, left hand side bottom is my controller screen. And this is where I'm going to issue the command uh, to create a gateway. So yeah, I'm, I'm creating a gateway, which is uh, GW1 is the name of the gateway. The device name is CO160. If you notice, that's my uh, tour on the right hand side. So essentially what I'm telling the command is that create me a gateway on that particular device on uh, interface Ethernet 42. 42 is where I have the legacy network connected. So essentially what this command does is it creates a, uh, a database entry and if you notice the command is successful and it has created gateway uh, one entry into the database. So now I have created the, the gateway and now let's look at the OVS configuration to here if I look at OVS and here you would notice that I have my those couple of VMs on the integration bridge as well as the tunnel bridge there is no VXLAN uh, tunnel created yet because I have not created the connection uh, between the two networks. 
So now let us go ahead and create that connection and uh, this is the command which is going to create a connection. Uh, essentially this command is saying that uh, create this connection on gateway 1 uh, and connect test net which I showed you earlier to the segmentation ID 5 which is the physical network. So at th with this command we are creating a connection between a virtual network test net and the physical network uh, VLAN 5. Once we execute this command, the command was successful and if you notice on the right hand side top screen, my ping has started to work. So my bare metal server at this point has started to ping the, the virtual network and here if we notice the, my VM is also pinging the bare metal server. So by creating this uh, gateway connection, we have successfully been able to uh, create the connectivity and if you look at the uh, the hardware we tap and it shows that the VLAN to VNI mapping got co uh, correctly configured and my head end replication flood VTAP list is 5, uh, 10, 10, 200, 200. That was my IP address for that. And now if I go back to the left hand side and look at the tunnel, uh, tunnel bridge configuration, you will notice that uh, the VXLAN tunnel guard automatically con configured and the local IP address being 101.150 and the remote IP address of 10.10.200.200 10, which is on my hardware tour on, on the right hand side of the screen. So that is how, so I was able to bridge the software VTAP on the left hand side with the hardware VTAP on the right hand side and hence the connectivity was established. So this pretty much concludes my demo. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ping me. Again, this is Sukhdev Kapoor from Arista Networks. Thanks.